I don't want my eyesight back, which might shock some people to hear, but I don't. I can just have a concept, an idea, and I can turn that mental picture into a piece of art. For me personally, it is a coping mechanism. With me being blind, I suffer from anxiety. You're in the moment, you're just thinking about what you're doing at that lathe. Nothing else matters. I, I lost my sight overnight, woke up one morning, my eyes were non-responsive and were very blurred. Four weeks later, I'm totally blind from toxoplasmosis. I'd lost so much so quickly. Motorcycles, I was a student pilot and, you know, working, being able to see my son and my family, I'd lost all of that. If I was on my own at that time, I definitely would have probably ended my life. I felt that ill. I sought counselling with the Royal National Institute for the Blind and had 12 sessions of what's called bereavement counselling because it's akin to a bereavement when you go blind. It's, it's really distressing. Slowly but surely, I started getting that, that zest for life again and I wanted to challenge myself. I've got a point on that, so I've just... Got the idea that I wanted a vampire state came, came from my huge love of horror films. So that's when I took it upon myself to listen to YouTube for approximately 600 hours. <laughs> Bought a lathe and taught myself. So it, it sounds amazing now, thinking back, but that's the way I did it. I've just got the speed there dialed in about 2000 RPM, a bit less. My yeah. index finger is running along the back. So again, I need to get my position here, make sure I'm safe. Gonna let the lathe come up to speed. Recently, there's been a, a special needs charity that's got me involved with instructing some children with autism. It's a gift to be able yeah. to do this. I'm, I'm happy and comfortable with being blind I went through so much to transition to being a blind adult. I'm, I'm going to be a wood turner for as long as I can, you know, it's going to have to wheel me out of here. I don't know what you say after that, Chris, absolutely incredible and I hope you heard that report. Um, it's weather time now, as so I said a bit earlier, what a beautiful sunny morning it's it was. It's been a belter today, hasn't it? Lovely sunshine, an absolute dazzling blue sky all day long today. Hardly a cloud to spoil that all day as well. And I think there was a teeny weeny bit of strength and warmth to that sun this afternoon too. All thanks to high pressure, it's kind of taken home across the UK over the last 24 hours. It's acting as a wintry force field, keeping the cloud and keeping the weather fronts away from us but it is winter after all and under those calm and clear conditions tonight we're going to see the fog returning once again and this one means business actually tonight because there's going to be some pretty dense fog around visibility will be less than 100 meters in places and it will be freezing fog as well now the upside of freezing fog is that by the morning we could be seeing some hoar frost so some of us are going to be seeing some pretty patterns like this first thing in the morning if you get some photos please send them in we'd love to see them so the cloud will be thickening up quite quickly this evening then that mist and fog forming quite quickly this evening and it will thicken up throughout the night as those temperatures start to fall away so it is dry tonight but turning pretty murky that's for sure and as I say it is freezing fog for some with temperatures drip, drop, dropping even just below freezing so a murky old start once again tomorrow morning we won't have that blue sky that's for sure it will take its time to lift but it will eventually lift up through the morning maybe just one or two patches continuing into the afternoon but uh, we're generally bright for most of the morning and then we're going to see a bit more cloud pushing in for the afternoon. But it's a dry and a bright day really for tomorrow and temperatures up to around 5 or 6 degrees. Now tomorrow night we're going to see the breeze pick up and a bit more cloud pushing in as well. Ahead of a weather front which will push in for tomorrow, uh, Wednesday morning. So that means it's going to be quite a damp start to Wednesday actually. A few spots of rain around. It clears out of the way quite quickly. Really nice day on Wednesday actually. Lots of sunshine for the afternoon and it's looking pretty decent for the rest of the week. A lot of sunshine to enjoy. Jolly D, thank you very much indeed, Kay. Take care if you've got to drive this evening or tomorrow morning, won't you? That's it from us. The leaves is back later. Bye-bye.